Hello, my name is David Kersley, a certified SOLIDWORKS application engineer with Go Engineer. In this video, we will be discussing how to do a circular sweep on a curved surface. So I was looking at this putter that we've been designing for Go Engineer, and uh, we're looking at the hosel, and we're talking about making several sweeps on it. So this guy's got a lie angle, and the lie angle on a, golf, on a putter is measured from the sole, or the, the resting plane, uh, through the center axis of this shaft tip here, and that, that would be your lie angle. And there were some other parameters that we want. This S shape, so the center line here in relation to the center line over here, and in relation to the leading edge of the face, to the center line that is, is called the offset. And we want to kind of incorporate that all into our design. So the, I thought it'd be kind of interesting to show you guys how we create some of these. So uh, I'm going to go back over here to a part that I created, um, a, a hosel in general. Um, again, these putters are made uh, several different ways. They're, they're made out of a solid block of uh, stainless steel, usually a 303, a 304. Uh, they can be made in uh, one way where they mill everything, including the hosel. It's loaded in and they cut it. But that takes a lot of time, and, and sometimes we want to produce these in mass quantities uh, rather fast. So what we'll do is we'll design the hosel and we'll design the head separately, but the hosel has a register to it. And when we look over at this other part here that we've created, this part here, this is a hosel, and this actually has a register to it here at the very bottom and a little base plate where it's going to be uh, either glued. Most likely this gets uh, can be glued, can be welded, either one. It's just used to register it, and this can be a little base plate for them to actually do a little welding if as need be. So let's take a look at the way this was created. So if we rotate this guy around again from the, this would be kind of, we're looking at it from the toe, kind of we looked at it from, that, um, from our putter. And if we looked at it from the back, we, this would be kind of where we were looking at that lie angle. So I'm going to roll back on my history bar over here, and I'm going to cut this sketch on. And this was the original sketch, and if I go in here and I do a little edit this sketch, we can see that we've set this lie angle to be 71 degrees. If I wanted to change it to 72, again, we're all good, and maybe 69. Again, this is changing that lie angle. And what we're going to use this sketch for is to create a surface. So I'm going to change this back to 71 degrees. And that's a very common lie angle. Uh, and so what I did was we have this sketch. And so the next thing that we do is we're going to go up here to surfaces. And we would I did an extruded surface. And when I did that, I extruded the surface off the mid plane. And it created this surface here. And so what I did is I made this surface kind of go in both directions. So if I want to make a right or a left-handed hosel at some point, I can. But I also kind of made it a little bit bigger than I knew the profile. I'm going to project uh, on the other sketch onto this so I'd have enough surface for it to project onto there properly. And so the next thing I did was I went over to the right plane. I'm going to turn this off for just a second. And I created the other profile. And so this sketch profile here, this was the one we were kind of looking at from the toe of the putter. If we can kind of go back over to our assembly here, we kind of look at it. Again, from this direction, we're looking at it from the toe, and we can kind of see that little S shape in there. We want to create that. So I recreated that over on the right plane. If I go over to my right plane, we can see here we got this guy sketched in. And if I look at the sketch parameters, I got him fully defined. And I set this at 2.5. I got my radius is at equal. And then I've got this little space here at the top where it's completely vertical. And I'm going to use that to then cut uh, a, a tip onto this uh, extruded uh, profile or sweat profile so that I can put the shaft onto the hosel and then close that out. And so what I did at that point was I had this sketch, right, that we made our projected uh, our surface on. And I've got this sketch. So then the, the, cur the key was getting this sketch over here projected onto there. I and mean, there's a couple different ways you can do that. Uh, the method I used was curves. And I, I've got it downloaded. So can't find curves. Again, top right of your screen, type in curves under the command. And if I hit curves, I start typing in curves, and I hit my magnifying lens, curves pops up. And I can left mouse click on this guy and drag and drop him into place because I use it a lot, so I, I use it there. The other way to do it is hold over curves. You'll notice a little eyeball is over on the right, and that says show command location. If I click on the eyeball, again, it'll show that it's under view, toolbars, and curves. And if I click on that curves, I can then access the toolbar. And then underneath curves, we have several different things. We have split line. Uh, maybe I want to create some masking areas on a, on a surface or something like that. I could use that. But in this case, we're going to use projected curves. So we're going to take this curve, 
and we're going to project it on that original surface that was created with that original sketch. And so I did a curve, projected curve, and when I did that, I ended up with kind of a third sketch here. I'm going to turn this plane off again, or that surface off, and now you can see that I've, I started with this sketch, I uh, created this sketch, and I projected it onto that surface that was created by this original sketch. So I'm going to turn these two off. And then now I'm left with just this one kind of a little complex curve here. And the next thing to do was I did a sweep. And when I did the sweep, I just did a circular profile. I knew that the outside diameter was going to be 370. I clicked circular profile, and I used that path the, the, of the projected curve, and it swept all the way up to the top of it. And then the next thing I did was um, – I sketched on the very tip of the shaft up here and I created a cut and I cut it down so that the shaft's going to fit over the top of this and I added a little chamfer and a fillet here at the very top so it's nice and smooth it makes it easy for the shaft to get on and this inside diameter is a little bit smaller than the inside diameter of the shaft so I've got a little room for some glue to kind of get 360 degrees and, and fix itself on there and then I got a little base plate on this part and then I created a little fillet and, and made it a register and um, so that's how you do it. You start with a sketch, and we created a second sketch. We projected it onto that surface, and we created that part. So uh, uh, if you're at home tinkering with some golf clubs or wonder how we do, how we do it, uh, that's one of the methods that we use. So uh, this has been David Kersley with Go Engineer. I hope you found this SolidWorks tutorial helpful. Uh, please check out our Go Engineer YouTube library or visit our website to enroll in classes near you at goengineer.com.